Hi, this is a tutorial for MedSeg, uh, where I will show you how to use MedSeg, show all the basic functions, and by the end of it, hopefully, you will know how to apply AI-based segmentation on your uh, imaging data. So you start here by running MedSeg to drag uh, to start segmenting you either can drag your files drag a nifty file inside here or choose files by clicking this button uh, but for demonstration purposes we'll just use one of the demos here so i'll just click on this ct scan uh, now the first thing you need to know is how to navigate in the scan so by the scroll wheel of the mouse you scroll up and down you can also scroll with this bar. Uh, a function that we radiologists almost always use is window leveling, which you use by pressing the middle mouse button and moving the mouse around. Or you can also press the numbers 1 to 6 uh, for the different window levelings. So for 1 is uh, mediastinal um, window, but here uh, maybe the most relevant is soft tissue windowing, which is number four. There is also lung windowing, number three, brain windowing for two, and so on. Uh, so let's go for the soft tissue windowing. So to start segmenting, all you need to do is just press the left button, and now you're doing the segmentation. Uh, the next thing uh, for segmentation, you need to know how to make the pointer that you see in light blue, how to make it larger and smaller. That you do by pressing W makes it larger and S makes it smaller. So for example, if I was to segment the liver, I would do something, maybe something like that. And we'll get to how you do that automatically and not manually like I'm doing now. Um, so right now I have selected the mask value of one, which is this blue. Uh, I can also change the color by clicking here and selecting any color that I want. Let's just keep it at blue. Uh, sometimes you want to hide and show the mask uh, like this. For that you press F to, for hide and show. And with buttons A and D uh, you change the opacity of the mask. Um, and all the keyboard key bindings are shown if you press this button here. So there you can review all that I'm telling you. Also, you can just hover over the buttons and then you find out what they mean, kind of at least. Uh, so those are some basic functions. Uh, also, this one is for making it full screen for rotating, for mirroring, and you can also make more labels either by clicking here, but also you can select other labels by clicking E and Q. So E makes the label go to next, uh, and Q makes it go back. And as you see, th these show whether the label is locked or not. So right now the yellow one is locked, therefore when I'm drawing with the green label, you see it doesn't override it. However, if I unlock it, then it does override it. So that's uh, something uh, to keep in mind. So now we're back at the blue one. So now let's see how you can apply automatic AI-based segmentation. Uh, so let's open this model uh, section where we can choose which model to load. So let's click on this CT abdomen liver model. I've clicked it but it takes 120 megabytes to download and now it's been uploaded or downloaded uh, to the browser. So this text has changed. Uh, so to apply it what you do is that you press P you can actually also, oh, it's here, uh, the regular P, not the large P. Uh, 
to apply the model on the current slice, but you can also press the space bar. So now I pressed it, but it takes some time for the first segmentation to come up. And so you can scroll up and get it for each slice. Also, if you click on the button X, then it automatically goes up one slice and segments the slice above. Uh, and the button C does the same but downwards. Uh, so as you see, when we get down here, the model really struggles. Uh, so we have to find another way to segment this part. And uh, actually, uh, in standard, the interactive model deep grow for CT, liver, kidneys and spleen is uh, loaded automatically. And to activate this deep grow module, you press the button G. Uh, then you can see there is a, this green pointer coming up and it segments whatever you click on. So in this case, uh, these clicks would result in the liver segmentation. Um, yeah, and then you can go out from the um, deep grow module and back into the normal mm, manual segmentation part uh, where you can I also forgot to mention but by holding the control button you can either drag uh, by using the left mouse button you can uh, drag around the image or by holding the right button and going up and down you zoom in and out and also by using the scroll wheel you zoom in and out so now you can with the right mouse button you can uh, erase the parts that are over segmented and in that way you can kind of adjust uh, the segmentation there you see it got too much so we just fix that and uh, as soon as you are satisfied with your segmentation you can what you can do is you can press this button here for looking at the volumes so you see this liver is uh, 1.6 or almost 1.7 uh, liters of, of volume um, so now we have the liver segmented we can do the same we can choose another uh, label and we can for example segment the spleen in the same fashion or we can choose yet another one and segment the kidneys for example and so on and there's one thing I haven't shown you which is the use of uh, thresholding uh, which is activated here but I've also written a small function which basically actually if you press the number I this will show you the values within the pointer within the light blue pointer so you can see that the average is uh, uh, of Hounsfield unit 6 all around 0 so if I press the minus button then the threshold minimum of threshold and value will automatically be set to the average of this uh, circle so basically it is meant for you to be able to go and maybe choose half of something that you want to segment press the minus and then it gets half of whatever you have chosen so if i now if i draw here it draws it segments everything but if i click the minus button then it only takes above the average of uh, what was in the pointer. Uh, so this can save some time by not taking, uh, yeah, by using basically a regular thresholding uh, methods. So after you're done, if you want to do something more than just looking at the volumes, uh, you can also, of course, save the mask. Uh, which becomes saved as uh, uh, as a nifty file and actually if if I would load this demo from scratch uh, right now you see uh, there is no mask 
but what I can do is I can take the mask that we have downloaded and I can drag it on top and it will ask it will see that oh this looks the same as the volume that you're working with do you want to load it as a mask and I say okay and there you see we can continue on working with the mask that we have done already so I think this was uh, the most of it there are some a few advanced functions that are not documented for example you could play around with just pressing the button zero and while holding the control button with the left mouse button looking at everything in uh, multiplanar uh, reconstructions but it's qu quite laggy and it doesn't uh, it doesn't fully work yet so that's why it's not documented but, uh, but I think that's enough to get you started at least okay thank you